Hello everybody, and today we are going to be playing Firewatch, uh, a very beautiful game. Very, very beautiful. And we're going to start a new game. I remember watching um, a Let's Play of this um, years ago. All I barely remember anything from it. All I remember from this game is that it was very beautiful and it was very emotional. So I might, I might cry. Uh, but let's just get into this. I'm saying if you and I have some couple little idiots. Well, I have commitment issues personally. <laughs> so I don't want to make her upset. So I'm just gonna say that would be pretty good, because eventually it would be pretty good. If you had it with the right person, and I'm sure Julia is the right person for Henry. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough, it's probably best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets in between the sheets. I ignore her. I don't want to get mad at her. You don't touch each other all night. Next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She said it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You go get some coffee and go get to work. But it's not my, it's not my business. It's, if you didn't have plans with her, if you didn't swear to have like plans with her, then I don't see any reason why she couldn't go out partying it's her choice what she does with her free time you know boulder colorado 1975 you see julia ah oh. okay It doesn't really sound like a man's name. I'm kind of gay, you know. <laughs> All right. She's about your age, in the late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, <laughs> you know, major? Your you're pretty. I'm gonna go with that one. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger. She flags down a waiter and next week later you are Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> that happened. That, that was very fast. Oh, oh, okay. Backpack, 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 come get your backpack. Oh. Uh, is this my car? Uh, I'm thinking that it is. Oh, okay, it is. Unless we're just breaking into someone's random car. Could be a possibility. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. 
Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. This is really setting it up to be emotional. I it's going to it's, it's going to get me somehow. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. I love German Shepherd! German Shepherds are literally my favorite type of dog. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh! <laughs> I can't decide this. I'm getting the Beagle. I love dogs either way. And it's the one that she wants. So... Win win. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. Love him too. 1979. You, out, you walk out on the deck, it's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I flex and pose like He-Man. You look awesome. Hippity-hop-hop. Hop. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from many places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, that's extreme. <laughs> Bucket gets kicked. But, but uh, fuck, D dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you have a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different pa path from that day forward. You say okay and don't want it to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Well, it's plan. It's a great job. You just said that. I shouldn't be the decider of what she wants to do. She wants to go get the job, so she goes She goes to get the job. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She said that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to move if that's she wants. She agrees. She flies back to the boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it at a colleague for borrowing books that were important research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying at the stairwell. We, you can't just try and forget about it. If you try and forget about all your problems, there's still gonna be problems. If you don't get rid of something, it's always gonna stay there. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Uh, <laughs> oh no. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh my god.
god he man Woo, it's me that's what i look like in real life as well bucket is getting older julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember the things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car next to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips from their home to Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. God. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You spend the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere within 24 hour care or home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I am indecisive. Not cool, not cool game! <sighs> okay. This is gonna be better for her. If I decide to move into a full time care facility, this will help her. I can't do this by myself. Oh, hi! Goodbye! I love you! Is that Julia? Her family agrees with your decision. Find a fantastic place in Boulder. Her there. You see her every day. And then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's, it's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband. If you ever put me in a home like Henry did. I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close with her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see the therapist. You won't. You always really liked Susan. Months go by, Bucket dies! Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to look onto you. In the back of your mind, you believe it. You believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Oh no! <laughs> what is this game gonna do to me? Oh! This is so beautiful! Wait, give me a second. Okay, I just... I just put the graphics uh, quality on Ultra. This game is already is so beautiful um god i knew this game was gonna do something to me i can't believe the smh i think i saw something there uh, no guess i didn't is there a way to run if there is i, I can't do it now I guess there was something there, because uh, I, I saw something flash up, and I wasn't completely sure, and when I went back, I didn't see something flash up again. So, uh, give me a second, give me a second. Oh, there's a door here. I didn't even notice it. Here we go. Turn on the power! Woo! Um, 
I'm assuming this is the power. Yep. Woo! Hello, Two Ooh. Forks Tower. Oh. Uh, oh, hi, Cup. I'm gonna name you, uh... Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Uh, okay, I'm just, let me talk to my pine cone! Okay, I'm gonna name you Steve! I know you're there, your lights are on. Fine. What do you want? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna be so cool, I'm gonna be so cool. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Um, where is it? There we go. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Gary. Did I name Very you Gary? Good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah. Jesus. I sleep that long? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, oh. Are those fucking fireworks? Um, oh, yeah, you're right, that is, uh, those are fireworks, yep. I need you to confirm, do you see them? Yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. <laughs> you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is, like, two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. I will do that. Um... Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. Oh, we're right, robbing now? Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Oh, but get it going. tastes You'll so good. To get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, okay, well, okay. So very secure, very secure. Secure. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. This is probably not going to be as good as, uh, to you guys. Just because when I export the video, it's probably going to be a lower quality. And I, like, crop it and, like, do all my little YouTube editing hand stuff, right? This is honestly like really beautiful. Oh, this is the box that uh, Delilah was talking about. I really like Delilah. 
She is cool. Okay. I found the supply box. Great. Okay. And that's all you're gonna say about it? Oh my god, Gary! Gary the pine cone! Gary the pine cone, Gary the pine cone, woo! You chill there, Gary. You're doing great work. Okay. Oh no, I want the granola bar, not the old bro. Damn it. This is not nearly as important. What is that? I have no idea, and I don't care. I want the granola bar. Um, eat. Nice. That's in my tummy now. That was my breakfast. That was my breakfast. I ate a granola bar for breakfast. Wow. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Hey, man. Yeah, right. Harmless, but yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which hey, I would do is that. Kind of what the job attracts. Oh, I would do that. Here we go. Hey, man, guy can take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Okay, I'm gonna close that because a good, respectful citizen closes. Where did he where, where where did Gary go? Gary the pine cone. Oh, that's not very cool. Not very cool. Not cool. Not cool. Oh, okay. Understandable. Have a great day. Uh, well, there's a split in the road here. I'm gonna use my compass to be smart. This. Uh, oh no. This way. All right. Maybe it just doesn't matter which way I go. Maybe I'm just, uh, dumb. Oh, that's how I run. I'm gonna catch those little sleazy shenanigan maker, maker teenagers. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Can I just walk down there? Nope. I have to attach this rope. Is there anything I could say? Okay. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. I love how it actually names the, um, the thing. <laughs> Shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill. Nice. Here we go, 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 here we go. Ah! Shit. Oh. I'm a bear, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. <laughs> First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Well, yep. fireworks. Oh. Clean up. Hold up. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Wow. I don't even think. Um, I don't know how 
I don't know what the laws about fireworks is over here in the UK. Okay. I'm gonna be a good citizen, a good firewatch, and report. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. I can break my arm. Watch this. <laughs> Broke my arm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be a good citizen and clean up. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man. I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. How much do I have to stop this out? It doesn't seem like there's any fire there, but, uh, I don't know. Okay. Um... Uh, beer can! Beer can! Put it away. Oh, whiskey! Whiskey, nice. Gonna report it. Oh shit, ferret or Irish? I wanted to report it. Uh, put oh, back for a second. My life right now. <laughs> um, no, I. Okay. Uh, there we go. No, please. You left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Are all pyromaniacs, um, drunk? Oh my lord! Ah, uh huh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. A nudie drunk pyromaniac, actually. Get it right. Where'd you put that, Henry? It, it, it just disappeared. Where'd you put it? Oh, you, did you put it on the ground? Yeah, you did. Okay. I can't examine it anymore. Okay, uh, I, I, he, okay, that's fine. I expected a lot worse from you, Henry, for absolutely no reason. Um... Uh oh. <laughs> uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> hey, let's, let's work out the word panties. It's just. It's underwear. You could just. You just. You could have said that you found a pair of underwear if you're that uncomfortable with that word. I found them. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over here. Move. Drunk. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes? I totally am. The all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You dick. Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. <laughs> pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Maybe don't do drunk. illegal shit. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Yeah, I am. I'm a sad man out in the woods. You're right. You're totally right. <laughs> I'm gonna take this boombox. 
Yeah, it's mine now! Hey, that go okay? I hope it dropped. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, the music's uh, a little loud. Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, just uh, drop that for a second. I'll bring it with me again. I just need to uh, figure it out. Oh, shit, that's a far away place. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's get going! Oh, nice. I wanna take a boombox with me. I, I almost forgot it! Can't believe I almost forgot the boombox! Gotta take that with me, bro! I'm gonna take it all the way back to my radio station. I some sick tunes. Is this a hundred gex? at all the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great. Well, okay. I'm already a thief. I'm already a thief, uh, so, uh, I, uh, dropped this blue box. No, I can't fruit it! I can't fruit it! Don't even give me that idea if I'm not able to do it. Damn it. <sighs> I'm like, I, I, I want my blue box! Give me my blue box! No, no, no! I can't pick it up again! My boo box! This is so sad! Can we get an F in the comments? What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. <laughs> Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. I'm being a respectful citizen. Pears, pears, pears! Yes! What? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. <laughs> that was actually, that was actually really good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's scared of squirrel, but it's fine. Bye, you bots, I miss you! <laughs> Most emotional part of this game is letting I'm letting my boombox go! This is so sad, guys! Gonna get an F in the comments! So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay, well, I think I'm close. Please let me hey, report. I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'll try. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. 
Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what Roy! killed him. Roy! What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh, not very cool. Anyway, Roy was the guy who was in the... The, 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 thing, right? It was like, the, it was like Dave or something to Roy. I don't know, remember the names. Here we go. It's very secure. Very secure. Oh, I didn't want to. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Very interesting. This is a very interesting antler. I think I will take it with me and name it. I will name the antler... Antler. Okay, come on, antler. We're coming. Wait, we're... We're, we're, we're coming home. We're, we're not coming. We're, we're going home. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Uh, hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! <laughs> Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> Damn it. Hello? Can I do it again? Oh, I can't do it again. Oh. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Oh. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah. But I wanted to die, but with permission! Oh. Oh, uh, report some There's guy. some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. <laughs> and people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Uh, I, I, I don't like people. I, I don't like people. People are kind of stupid. I think dogs are a lot better, like my dog Bucket. Well, he was a dog. Now he's dead. Crazy, right? We're gonna do, we're gonna be, be a stuntman now. Woo! Well done, well done, Henry. Wow. Okay. I was wanna. I, I wanna check if there's anything always um able to report because I don't wanna miss any dialogue from this game. So good. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Um. I saw something to report. Um. Okay. Oh, why would I want to drop down? <sighs> okay. Nope. Not gonna say anything to me.
Way to go, Henry. You are so athletic. So sexy. I sim for Henry. I'm a Henry sim. That's He's a bear. He's a He-Man bear. What is there not to love about him? Oh. Wow. Antler, are you still with me? Yep. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, <laughs> anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. I'm such a great guy. I mean, hey. I'm not Henry. I don't kin Henry. I just simp for him. This guy. Uh, sorry, Antler. I'm gonna have to drop you for a second. I just I want to see what this guy's about. I uh, I I'll pick you back up uh, in a, in a second. But look, uh, uh, Antler. Oh my God. Uh. Ooh -ooh. Forest burns. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. <laughs> well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Clearly, these guys have not played Ace Attorney. I'm just gonna drop you right here, Forrest Burns. Or, uh, no, you're covering up Antler. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell you to refrain yourself. Jeez. It's fine, Antler. You're okay now. You're okay now. Oh, this is well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. What do you mean, just number one? I could go number two anywhere I want to. Just you watch me, just you, just you. I will make my way over there and poop all over your desks. Your multiple desks, all of them, all of your desks will not be safe from my poop. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be I strong. do. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, <laughs> sure, I'll do that. Delilah has a piss kick. Let's go, Antler. You're gonna be. Oh, what? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna... Okay, Antler, uh, I'm gonna bring you upstairs, and then I'll bring my, uh, typewriter upstairs, because that's important to me. Uh, but Antler, you are just as important to me. This is not a competition at all in any, any, any way. Uh-oh. Oh! God. Um. Uh, just a second. Just a. Just a. G give me a sec. I get that I've been uh vandalized, but I need my typewriter first. Thank you very much. Dramatic music. You can. You can. Give
give me a, just a chill second, just a kill, chill. Here we go. Uh, okay, well, I have been vandalized. That's, uh, really cool. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Uh, um... You think it was those teenagers, maybe? Maybe that, uh... You're gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. You won't be cold. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Oh, like, well, I wanted to expect more stuff! Oh, okay. Can I expect more stuff in the morning? Because I was not done with that. I was not done. I was not. Wait, will Antler still be there? Oh my god, I, I need to check on Antler. I, I really don't care. Please, let me, uh... Hey, wake up. Fuck. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, alright. You can hold. You can call me Hank. I like the name Hank. I kind of. I think it suits me. I think. Oh, Henry. Hank suits me. I like the name Hank for me. Oh. Oh. I don't like you. I don't like you, coffee percolator. Per per Percolator, coffee percolator. I don't like you at all. You know who I do like? My best friend, Antler, who is still here. Antler for the win. Go on the floor. Uh, it's been. It was a really exciting day yesterday. I think you should sleep for a couple more days, and then you'll get your rest. See, I'm a big man. So I don't need to, uh... So. I'm a big man, so I don't need to, uh... Sleep for something to do. Just gonna put that back. No, 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 no,
Don't throw it. Can I just throw that out the window? Oh, I can. What have I been writing? Can I look at what I've been writing? No? Okay. Mug, can I drink? Nope. Baba Booey. Oh. I can confiscate it from myself. <laughs> confiscate. You are not allowed to have these fireworks, Henry. See. This show. We don't wash dishes here. We only have paper plates. Get out of here. Glass. Whatever. So lame. Old Scottish oil soap! Oh, now you are sexy. You are coming with me today, big boy. Whoa. But right before we end up on my journey, I think I'm going to leave the uh, video here. This game is great. This game is really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode just as much I enjoyed uh, j just as much as I have enjoyed making it, it this is uh, probably my favorite. This is this is this is probably my favorite video I've done so far. This is just a really great game. Uh, please support the creators of this game. This is great. The art style is amazing. It's beautiful. And I encourage you to go play it yourself if you haven't already. Uh, before I spoil the rest of the game for you. So that has been Firewatch. And I'll see you next episode.